we want to find the area of the surface or surface area generated by rotating the curve given by the parametric equations on the given interval of t about the y-axis. So if we graph this curve on this interval of t, it'll give us this blue graph. And then if we rotate this about the y-axis, it would give us this surface here, and our goal is to find the area of this surface. And because we have parametric equations, to find the surface area, we'll use this formula here. Whenever rotating about the y-axis, the integrand contains x. Whenever rotating about the x-axis, the integrand contains y. So before we apply this formula, though, let's review where this comes from. It's really based upon the lateral surface area of a frustum pictured here. The lateral surface area would be the surface area of this shape, not counting the top and bottom. And therefore, the formula for the lateral surface area is equal to 2 pi r l, where r is the average of the two radii, and l is the length of the segment pictured here. And because we're rotating a curve about the x or y axis, the length of l would actually be a small arc length. When rotating about the y axis, notice that r would actually be a horizontal distance represented by x, and again, l would be the arc length. When rotating about the x-axis, notice that r would be a vertical distance, or y, and again, l would be a small piece of the curve, or arc length. So the thing to remember is, when rotating a function about the x or y-axis, l in our formula is a very small piece of arc length. We've actually already done this before using rectangular coordinates. You might recognize these formulas when rotating about the x-axis, using rectangular coordinates, and these two formulas when rotating about the y-axis. And you should be able to recognize the formula for the lateral surface area of a frustum here, again, 2 pi r l, where y is the vertical distance representing the radius here, and differential s is a differential of arc length, again, representing a small piece of the arc length here, which are rotating about the x-axis. And then about the y-axis, notice how the formula contains x, because the radius r is a horizontal distance. And again, differential s represents a small piece of the arc length, which is being rotated now about the y-axis. So the only new piece now is because we have parametric equations, we have to perform a substitution for differential s with the differential of arc length where we now know differential s is equal to this. So if we perform this substitution for differential s here and here, we have our surface area of revolution formulas when given parametric equations. So going back to our example, let's now apply our formula. So we'll have the surface area equals 2 pi times the integral from 0 to pi over 2. Then the integrand is going to be x, again, because we're rotating about the y-axis which is 3 cosine t. And then we'll have the square root dt. Underneath the square root, we have dx dt squared, which would be negative 3 sine t, again, squared, plus dy dt squared where dy dt is going to be 3 cosine t, so we have 3 cosine t squared. Now let's go ahead and simplify the integrand. This is going to be 9 sine squared t plus 9 cosine squared t. And then we'll factor this on the next slide by factoring out the 9. So the radicand would be 9 times the quantity sine squared t plus cosine squared t. But sine squared t plus cosine squared t is equal to 1. So the radicand just becomes 9. But the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So we have 9 cosine t dt. And then we can factor out the 9, giving us 18 pi. 
and then the integral of cosine is equal to sine, so we have 18 pi, and then we have to evaluate sine at our limits of integration. So this is going to give us 18 pi times sine pi over 2 minus sine 0. Well, sine pi over 2 is equal to 1, sine 0 is equal to 0, giving us a surface area of 18 pi square units. So if we go back to our graph just for a moment, our surface area is 18 pi square units. And this is actually half a sphere, so we could check this using the surface area formula for a sphere. The surface area formula of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r squared. But notice how this is half a sphere, so we can check this by taking half of the surface area of a sphere, 1 half times 4 times pi times r squared. We can tell from this graph here the radius r would be equal to 3. So this would give us 1 half times 4, that's 2, and 3 squared is 9. 2 times 9 is 18 times pi, verifying our surface area is correct, 18 pi square units. Of course, in most cases, we don't have a geometric formula to check our work, but in this case we do. I hope you found this explanation helpful.